say? Do my dance. Do your dance, man. Go ahead, man. Do your dance, man. <laughs> Do your dance, man. Do your dance, man. Yo, welcome back, man. It's your boy, D. Moss. Welcome back to my page. If you guys have not, man, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I said I wanted to reach 200 views this year on um, at the end of this year for my channel. I mean, not 200 views. I'm sorry. Uh, 200 videos and 1,000 subscribers. So I said I was going to start uh, switching up the content on my page. And one of the things, one of the series I am going to start is called Story Time. I'm going to just give you guys stories from my life. Um, I'm 34 years old. I've had some interesting things happen to me within my 30, 34 years of living. Uh, one of the first things I want to discuss and tell you guys about is my first failed robbery attempt. It was me, my boy Oliver, and my boy Max. All the stories and characters in his name, the names have been switched. Some of y'all that know me might know who these individuals are. For you, for those that don't know, just listen, and I'm going to tell you the story. So this all took place about eight years ago. Um, about eight years ago, I was living um, in a little small town. Not too big, but living in a small town. And um, I have a cousin named Oliver. He loves weed. He loves to smoke. He's always smoked. He gets high all the time. And when he gets high, he's just, he's just one of the, the funniest people I know. Then I got my boy Max. Max is like older than me, about 15, 16 years older than me. Wow. Uh, he's one of those type of dudes, like, he's willing to go all the way. Like, if you need somebody to have your back in a fight or anything, he's there for you. Like, he's like the muscle. Like, he's one of those guys, like, you want around you because you know he's going to lay his life on the line for you. So you got Oliver, the goofball, the high, gets high all the time laughing. You got me. Then you got Max. We all know each other. We are friends. Um, both Oliver and Max are much older than me. Oliver is the middle. Max is the oldest, me being the youngest. We're all friends. So this is how the story went. Oliver is a weed, a weed head, like I said before. Oliver loves to buy weed. Oliver buy, is buying weed from a guy for probably like the past year. Probably a little bit longer than that. He's been knowing this guy for a long time, but he just started buying weed from him. So he's buying weed from this guy. Um, he will go with him to go pick up his weed, all type of stuff. When it was time for him to pay cash, to re-up, he will meet this guy, go with him to go re-up, whatever, come back. Anyway, but Oliver said this guy, the weed man, will always give him a hard time when it was time to buy weed. He was all, either shorten him, talk about him, just, it was always an issue. Oliver will always call me and tell me about these issues he's having with this guy. But I was kind of, I would always tell him, like, yo, stop, you know, stop buying weed from him. And his excuse was, well, who else am I going to buy weed from? No one else sells, got that good ganja around here. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So one day I'm minding my business. I get a phone call from Oliver. Oliver tells me, yo, I had it up to here with this dude. We got to rob him. I'm saying, yo, Oliver, what's going on? Oliver tells me he goes to go buy weed. The weed man doesn't have any weed. He has to go pick up more weed. He said he'll call him back once he gets the weed, come back. He takes his money, never calls him back. A couple of days go by, a week go by, he's calling him. The weed man is like giving him the runaround excuses on why he don't have the weed that he paid for. So Oliver's pissed. Oliver's like, yo, I want to rob him. So I'm like, he's trying to persuade me. He probably persuaded me for like a week. Like, yo, we got to rob him. Like, I want to do this. Like, let's do it. I'm like, Oliver. You can, if you're going to rob him, you can't rob him. Like, let me do it. You can't rob him because if you try to rob him, he's going to recognize your voice, your mannerisms, all of that. We're busted. So, no. I'll do it. So, I was like, I'll tell Max, see if Max is down, and we'll go from there. I call Max, tell Max to get down. Max is doing bad right now. He had just lost his job, so he needed the money. So, Max is like, let's do it. So... We're planning the robbery. So we're planning on, we're trying to figure out how we're going to get into this man's uh, place. And on top of that, we got to figure out, on top of that, we got to figure out where he lives. Because he, when, when, when Oliver will go buy weed from him, Oliver will buy weed from him out the spot. Like he wasn't serving him out of his house. So boom. So that's another mission that we got to do. So those are the two goals. How are we going to get into this man's place? 
And where does he live? Now, mind you, I, I'm working right now. I got a full-fledged job, 40 hours a week, benefits, all that. Like, I have a job. So me doing this is kind of pointless. But I'm looking out for my for my boy Oliver. So, like, whatever. So let's do We down? I'm down. Like, if you, you need me, I'm down for you. Whatever. Which is dumb, by the way. So Oliver doesn't know where the guy lives. He stopped picking up his phone. So at the time, I'm working for a bus company. I'm driving like a little small paratransit bus, taking people from A to B, taking them, um, basically elderly, taking, picking up elderly people, taking them to doctor's appointments, dialysis, picking them up, dropping them off, stuff like that. Nothing major, little small stuff. So in the midst of doing all of that, Oliver, I mean, Max will ride with me around work some days because, mind you, he didn't have a job. He didn't have nothing to do. So Max will ride with me all day. Like, I'll pick him up, like, around 10, 11. He'll ride with me to like, 2, 30, 3 o'clock. I'll drop him off on my last, like, little pickup, uh, get on the bus, and go on by my day. Uh, so Max, me and Max, just so happened to have a pickup where I live, the area where I live there. And guess who we see driving? The weed man. So we follow the weed man. He doesn't know we're following him because I'm in a yellow work truck. And I pick up, like, that's a work truck you just see in the neighborhood all the time. So he's not expecting these two guys that's following him. It's planning to rob him. So we follow him. He leads us right to his house. So me and, me and Max is excited. We jumping for joy. Like we found out where he lived. Mind you, this is like a two-week little hunt. Trying to figure out where he lived. We could not find where he lived for nothing. So, boom. We find out where he lived. We call Oliver. Just so happened that same night or the next night was Halloween. It was, I remember the week that we found out where he lived. That same week was Halloween. I remember that was like a big, big, uh, that was like a big deal. Because we was trying to figure out what was the perfect night to do it. And we was like, yo, we're going to do it Halloween night. So, boom, Halloween night it is. We can dress up, wear masks. It's the perfect, it's the perfect alibi. No one gets caught. So, boom, I, I dress up as the Scream. You guys seen the movie Scream? Scream, I dress up as him. Max dresses up as uh, Jason. He got the Jason mask, the Jason outfit, shoes, all that. So, boom, we, we um, find out where we live. I get off work, go home, change. We, we hop in Max's truck, and we stake out in front of uh, the weed man's apartment. So now we're trying to figure out, like, we didn't even think this through. Like, that's how you know. My bad. Let me backtrack. We're trying to figure out how we're going to get into his apartment without, like, breaking his window, all of that. We're trying to figure out how we're going to get into his apartment. I get online. I find out that porcelain... First, I ordered a, uh, uh, I remember, I remember I ordered a glass cutter. I ordered a glass cutter, that didn't work. So we try to figure out, I get online, I get on YouTube, I think, we, we find out that um, porcelain breaks glass without no noise. Porcelain. So we was like, all right, we got to get porcelain. So me and, Al, me and Max, me and Max was going to go and buy some porcelain, um, some like a porcelain top from like a, a whole we're gonna you know the tops from the uh toilets we're gonna buy one of those so i was like nah bro we don't have to do that next door is a vacant house we could just go inside the vacant house take the top up their uh toilet break that up and we got all the porcelain we need so we got it we broke it up with a hammer into little pieces threw it at the window at the vacant house the back window shatters Falls apart. I pushed it. Falls apart. We like, oh, genius idea. We're, we thinking it's like, oh my god, we're genius. We're gonna figure this out. So a Halloween night rolls around. So boom, back. So back to. So we gonna jump for Halloween night. It's Halloween night. We stake it out in front of the house. So we like, we didn't think this through. We like, yo, how we gonna get homie? How we gonna get him outside the house? Like, we even think this through. And we like, oh man, that's how you know. I know y'all. We ain't we ain't good at what we do. That's why I'm a law-abiding citizen. 
So if we're trying to figure out how we're going to get old boy out the house, I got a homegirl named Susan. Susan calls me. Like, yo, what you doing tonight? I'm like, nothing, chilling. What you got going? She was like, oh, me and my homegirl and her dude were all, her dude, my homegirl Susan's boyfriend and her friend are all going out, and her friend's boyfriend are all going out to dinner. I said, oh, who's, oh, where are you guys going? She tells me the bar. I'm like, oh, okay, right here, you know, not too far. She's like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay, cool. She's like, why, what you going? She's like, you should come join us. I was like, oh, no, I'm doing something, blah, 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 blah. So I, so I asked her, I was like, yo, who's your friend? Like, who's your friend's name? She tells me the friend's name. So I, t I let her in with what we was doing. I was like, look, I'll let you in on what we, I need your help. This is what I'm doing. I'll give you a little bit of money if you can persuade her and her dude to come out. Like, y'all on a double date. She says, yeah. Come to find out, so Susan is going out with this particular weed man and his girl tonight. That's the friend. So, like, things is falling into place for us. We're like, oh, wow, like, this is God. Like, God is helping us with this situation. So, boom. Susan was like, yo, all right, I'm down. As long as y'all break me up, I don't like him anyway because he's abusive. He cheats on his girl, whatever the case may be. So I'm like, cool, let's set it up. So they leave. They go eat. I was like, yo, call me when they at the restaurant. Y'all sitting down at the table. Susan calls me. Susan is like, yo, we here at the table. Y'all do y'all thing. Me and Max hop out the truck. Mind you, it's people trick-or-treating. It's like a, so it's an apartment building. You know those apartment buildings? It was like an apartment unit in the front, a building in the front, two buildings on the side, a building in the back. So you could walk through the sides, up the alleyway, through the front, on both sides. Because it was a, it was a U-shaped driveway. So you drive in one way and come out the other way. So each unit had their own personal garage. So the unit in the front... They had their garages, and then the two side units and the back unit had garages. So when you walk in, you can either walk through the front in the middle of the unit, because it was like, like you know how most apartment build, buildings have, or you can walk on the side through the, through the sides and into like the uh, courtyard. So me and, me and Al, I mean me and Max, I got me and Max walk, me and Max walk through the side of the uh, courtyard, and it's not busy. Like, it's not a lot of people out there, so we can do what we need to do. Mind you, the people who weren't giving out candy had their porch lights off. Those who was giving out candy had their porch lights on. But the apartment that we were going to, the porch lights was off. Because obviously they weren't there and they weren't passing out candy. So, boom. We walk over. Max hops over. So, I'm on the side of the building. Like, I'm, I'm on the side of the building. So, like... If you're standing in the courtyard, their apartment was, it was three. It was theirs, the one in the middle, the one to the to the right. So it was left, middle, right. The, the weak man was to the left, to, off to the side. So when you walk down the courtyard on each side, you turn to the left. I was like standing in front of that building, like diagonally from the, um, the front, um, their porch. So... Max hops over there into over their little you know porch balcony whatever the case not balcony but their Max hops over their porch into their uh into their personal shit lays a blanket down but he didn't he when he threw the porcelain the porcelain this for some strange reason the porcelain didn't break the glass so I'm like bruh like the porcelain didn't break the glass. So we didn't even bring enough porcelain. We weren't thinking, y'all. We didn't even bring enough porcelain. So when he threw it, the porcelain didn't break. I'm like, I'm standing on the side. Like, what's happening? He was like, it didn't break. Somebody comes out their house from out the building. He drops down. I walk off. Boom. I just turned and walked off. He drops down. You can't even tell he's back there on these people's uh, balcony. Like, you can't even tell he's, he's, he on that shit. So, boom. When he hop over, throw the porcelain. And then on break, the person come down, I turn, I, well, I walk off. I walk off immediately and walk back up to the front of the building. So as I'm walking up to the front of the building, something hit me like, yo, 
check and see if his garage is open because a lot of different people, as I noticed in the building, had their garage open. So as I walk in, I turn around to see if his garage is open. I turn back around to see if his garage is open. So I'm walking back down the driveway. Boom. As I'm walking back down the driveway, as I'm walking, here comes Max. We meet each other. Max is laughing like, we got to go get more course. And I'm like, nah, let's go check and see if his garage open. Maybe we can kick in the door in his apartment. So me and Max walk around there. Boom. It wasn't open. But the person that came down the steps when we hit the corner was taking out their trash and was walking back. So me and Max just kept walking. Like, boom. So we kept walking. We hop in the truck. As I'm walking back, Susan calls me. As we're walking back to the truck, Susan calls me. Susan hit me like, yo, where y'all at? What's the, what's the progress? We tell her. She's like, well, we're getting ready to leave. Y'all need to figure out what y'all do going to do. They're trying to leave right now and go, I'll go back to his house and party and drink. I'm like, yo, stall. Just give us like 20 more minutes. She's like, all right, cool. I got y'all. So me and Max hop in the truck. We're thinking like, yo, what can we do? He was like, we got to keep them there as long as possible. So I'm like, yo, I know where they're having dinner at. I know what his truck looks like. Let's go flag his tire. And he was like, yeah, you're right. But in the process of us flagging his tire, he says, yo, <laughs> let's um see if he has the remote control to the garage and inside the car. Because then we don't have to break no glass or nothing. It's like he won't even know what's missing until a couple of days. <clears throat> so I'm like, cool, let's do it. So, boom, we pull up, park, Max hops out, flags the tire, come back. So, I'm like, all right, cool. Me and Max hops out. Max comes back after flagging his tire and tells me the progress he made. <gasps> Excuse me. Tells me what he did. I'm like, all right, cool. Boom, me and Max walk around the corner into an alleyway. So it was like a business, like a small business, like three buildings. And they had it was like an alleyway that ran in the back of the building in like personal parking for the owners. Whoever owned the building or uh, leased the building, the business owners had their own personal parking. So me and Al are in the back of the building in the personal parking lot, but behind the dumpster, like looking over. So like me and Max, Max is like, yo, go see if the parking, go see if his uh, garage opener's in the car. So I'm like, all right, cool. Max hands me the hammer. I get the hammer. I run across the street to the to the truck. My y'all, y'all, I'm, I was young at the time. I was, I, was, I, I was dumb. I was like 27, 26. I was not thinking, not thinking. I would never do this at a 30, 40. I would never, never. So boom. When I pull up, I mean, when I run across the street, I hit the window. Boom! My, nobody's out there. Nobody's out there. Like, when we first pulled up, people were out there, but it kind of died down. By the time Max went and flattened the tire, we done ran around the corner, whatever the case may be. So I walk up. I hit the window. Boom! The hammer, like, it, it was a loud noise, and the hammer, like, bounced off the glass. Like, boom! So when it hit and made that loud noise, I kind of dumped behind the car. And I looked behind to see where Max is at, it was like a 10 second break for me ducking, looking, seeing Max. He's behind the trash can, but all you see is his, like, the top of his shoulders and his head laughing. And I'm like, this guy, like, and I'm like, in the stop, I'm like, what am I doing? But I was like, I'm already doing this, might as well commit. So I, I stand back up, swing again, hit it. Boom, it break. When it breaks, the hammer goes flying in the car, in the truck. So I hit, flew in the trunk. I jump in the truck, but I'm not like sitting in the truck, y'all. No, I jump in the truck. I fall all the way in the truck. I sit back and like in the driver's seat. So I'm going through everything. I'm going through the middle council. I'm going through the glove box. I'm looking over the the um, I'm looking over the visor. No garage remote. Like I'm in there for probably like I'm gonna say 40 seconds. But I'm looking. Like I'm looking. I'm alert. Like I'm looking. Boom, 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 boom. I don't see nothing. I hop, why did I hop out the window? I don't know. To this day, I cannot tell you. But the same way I entered is the same way I got out. I hopped out the car. Run across the street. We get there. Max is like, yo, where is the garage opener? I'm like, 
it ain't in there, I don't see it. He's like, all right, where's the hammer? I'm like, it's in the car, let's go. He's like, no, you gotta go get the hammer. He's like, fingerprints is on there. I'm like, we're wearing gloves. He's like, my fingerprints, I work with the hammer. Like, that's the hammer I use every day. I'm like, nigga, why would you bring a hammer to a crime scene? Like, so you know we about to do something illegal. Like, why would you bring this hammer? That's how you know we wasn't, listen, we ain't criminals. So look, so I'm like, well, go get the hammer. He's like, no, nah, you go get it. I don't know where it's at. So I'm telling them where it's at. We arguing. Like, I'm like, you know what? Stop. I'll go get the hammer. So I run back across the street. I dive into the car window, y'all. I jump in the window. Like, I jump in. So I'm like, imagine somebody trying to jump into your window while you're driving and they feet hanging out. So my feet is hanging out the window and I reach to grab the hammer. I reach and grab the hammer and scoop myself out the car. Once I scoop myself out the car, I run back across the street. Me and Max run around the corner, hop in the truck. I kid you not, you guys. From the moment I jumped out the truck to us running to the truck, getting Max's truck, starting the truck, driving around the block, to circle the city, the city had to be like two minutes. When I tell you we pulled up, it was police everywhere. Police were everywhere. Everywhere. It had to be like at least 10 police cars. Him and his girl was standing outside. The dude, he's yelling at her. She's on the phone yelling, whatever, whoever, whatever. I don't know. We leave. We go back to Oliver's house to tell Oliver what all went down. In the process of me telling Oliver the story of me and Max on our failed robbery attempt, Susan calls me. Susan is like, yo, he think it's his baby mama. I'm like, what? He was like, he think his baby mama just did all of that what y'all just did. She's busting up laughing. She was like, yeah, F him, forget him. He's rude anyway, disrespectful. He deserved it. So I'm like, I don't care. I got away. As long as I didn't go to jail, I ain't tripping. So I'm like, Oliver, what you want to do? Oliver's happy with what we did. Oliver's happy with the busted window, the flat tire, and his baby mama think he did it. So long as none of us is in trouble, we good. So fast forward, all we did was laugh, joke, kiki about it, and we go on about our day. Two weeks later, Oliver is buying back buying weed from him. In the process of Oliver buying weed from him, he actually gives him extra weed for what he did to him previously. And he told Oliver that in the midst of all of that, his mom, I mean his, uh, he think his baby mama broke into his car. So with all that happening, all of that going down, he think his baby mom broke into the car and did that. And him and her was beefing, you know, him and her was beefing at the time. So he thought she did it. And he said he just bust up laughing. But yeah, man, that was my first time. That was my first robbery attempt. And it was, that's how it went. Literally, that's how it went. And looking back on it, bro, I'm like, yo, like, why did you do that, David? Like, I didn't need the money. I was just being young and reckless. And he just being down for my friend, I guess. But yeah, that's how I first, that's how my first robbery went. But our burglary or whatever you want to call it, it was failed. My first failed burglary or robbery. It was a total fail, like, it was, it was a fail, a, a big fail. But, yeah, man, this is your boy, D. Moss, man. I'm going to start hitting y'all with story time. This is a new series, a new series I'm going to start on my page. Um, story time with D. Moss. I hope you guys like this. And, yeah, man, if you guys have not, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said before, at the beginning of this video, I have, um, I want to hit 200 Videos by the end of this year and a thousand subscribers. So I'm gonna really go hard with YouTube, dropping as many videos per day. And yeah, man, I appreciate all the love and support I keep, I'm getting. If you made it this far, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, y'all, peace.